Congratulations! You chose correctly and just won a lifetime subscription to Picket Fences Magazine. <laughs> just messing around there. Hey guys, it's Paul back with another Fallout 4 Magazine locations guide for you. Since I just put out my first major settlement showcase video a few days ago, I figured that the Picket Fences Magazine locations would be the next most appropriate guide to post. Now I know there are hundreds of other Picket Fences Magazine videos out there and I'm late to the game on this, but I wanted to go ahead and post it for a couple of reasons. For one, I want to have it archived for posterity and to become part of an all Fallout 4 Magazines playlist before, you know, the game is said and done. Also, you'll get the location of a bonus magazine in this video that will also unlock more hidden items for your settlement building fun. So let's go ahead and jump right over that fence and get rolling. Issue number one is located at Beantown Brewery. I found this one during the Confidence Man quest from Diamond City where you can help Travis Mile gain his proper radio DJ voice. <laughs> the place is packed with raiders and a raider boss. I won't spoil these quests for you if you haven't done them, so I'll just show you where the mags are located. This one you'll find on the top floor in the office area. It's over to the right on the floor next to the bed and in the steamer trunk. Yes. This one is going to unlock the actual white picket fences in the game, including a gate and posts. Issue number two can be found at Hardware Town. I grabbed this one during the Painting the Town quest, also from Diamond City, where you get sent to get some green paint for Abbott to fix up the back wall. This place is also inhabited by raiders. Once you take care of all that biz, you can head upstairs and it's also found in a sort of office type room. This issue will be right on the desk next to the broken terminal. Nice. And it's gonna unlock a couple of high-tech lights. If you go back and check out my settlement video, these were the freestanding lights that I had in the vendor shop rooms. Issue number three is located at Saugus Ironworks. I found this one during the Out of the Fire quest. I made a video about that quest if you want to check it out because it's also where you can get the shish kebab. I purposely didn't grab the magazine during that video so I could show you in this video instead. I'll put links in the description in the art card above. There we go. And this one's gonna unlock all those cool statues like this one I featured in my settlement video. Hope reading that's worth our time. Oh, it's worth our time, Kate. Speaking of Kate, issue number four can be found at the combat zone where you can also acquire Kate as a companion. So this was actually the first of the bunch I found. Needed Kate for all that masterful lock picking she does. Once again, more raiders to dispatch before you can get your hands on it. I don't know why all these raiders are interested in interior decorating magazines. Must be that soft side that we just don't give them a chance to show off. <laughs> anyway, it's right on the lighter color table near hey, the stage. You all done killing each other? So you wanna talk this out like civilized folk? Or are you just gonna bash up my theater some more? <laughs> there we go. This one's gonna unlock all those pretty potted plants. Issue number five is located at the Weston Water Treatment Plant. I found this one during the Troubled Waters quest where you can help the robots at Grey Garden and get that location as a settlement. Oh, and a quick side note, Supervisor Green at that location sells wood and concrete, the two most needed supplies for settlement building. Anyway, at the Water Treatment Plant, finally we have no more raiders. This time it'll be super mutants that you need to wade through in order to get inside and up to another office type room overlooking the generator room. It'll be on top of the filing cabinet next to the terminal. Yes. This one's gonna unlock the patio furniture and the picnic table, like the ones I had in the cafeteria of my settlement. So that's all the Picket Fences magazines, but there's one more magazine you can grab that unlocks settlement workshop items. There are other unlockable workshop items, of course, like the flags from factions and stuff from all the new DLCs. But this is the only other magazine that unlocks items that I know of. I'll also include it with the others of its type in a separate video, but I thought I'd throw it into this video too as a bonus item since it relates to settlement decor. And it is one of the Wasteland Survival Guides, issue number four to be exact, and it can be found at Lynn Woods. I didn't go here for a quest, I just wanted the lawn flamingos that it unlocks. Use some of them in the finale settlement I've yet to show you guys. Oh, and I also gave some cool factoids about lawn flamingos in my Can We Reach the Red Rocket Before the Bombs Fall video, which oddly enough, after five months of being posted, went semi-viral the other day. Don't know why, but it did. I'll include links down below and up above if you wanna check that out. Anyway, more raiders at this location, so take them out or sneak around them like I did and then make your way into the main shack. It'll be on a sleeping bag near another steamer trunk. More raider bedtime reading, I guess. There we go. 
Once you have those six magazines, you'll be able to build all the unlockable workshop items other than the ones from the factions and the DLCs. If you really get into settlement building though, I highly recommend the DLCs. I don't know, maybe I'm an easy sell, but I think they're worth it. I couldn't have built the settlement I showed you guys in the fourth without them. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Hope it was helpful. More like it to come in the weeks ahead. Subscribe if you haven't already for more great tips and tricks videos like this one and follow me on Twitter to get notified when they post. Scrap that like button and share the video around and we'll see you next time on The School Zone. Peace out.